Good morning. Um, just a video here to record how subtraction with borrowing works. So um, I have blocks here, 100 size blocks, 10 and one size blocks, and they represent two numbers. The first blocks here are 10 by 10, so they have 100 blocks. That's my hundreds. So my number here has two hundreds. The next blocks, those are tens. I have three of them. So I have three tens. And then over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. And underneath here, I have a second number. This one has four tens. And eight ones. All right, so let me read out those numbers. This one is 237. And this one is 48. What we're looking at here when we're looking at blocks are real actual things. But let me just put this here. The subtraction sign. So now I've made this set of blocks a negative 48. And there's my subtraction problem, 237 minus 48. So let me do this problem. I'm trying to take, take these out of these. So I have eight I need to take out of here, but here is only seven. So I'm going to have to borrow. I need to, it's like breaking a 10 or a 20 when you're using money. I have 10 here, I've got to break it up. So I'm going to take a 10 here. So now I just have two 10s left. And I'm going to turn that blue 10 into 10 ones. Put them all over here. So that is why I put a one here. Sorry, that yellow marker is not visible. Let's see if we get a better one. Um, hold on. A little bit better. So now I have a total here of the 10 plus the seven I already have. I have 17. And now I can take the eight that I need to take. So these, these guys here, this is how many I have to take out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So boop, boop. I finished subtracting from the ones column. And what do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to put nine here. All right, so far so good. Now I've got the tens column. I still need to take these 10 away. Again, I have this problem. I only have two tens here. I can't be taking away. I'm gonna to have to break a hundred. So if I break a hundred, I break a hundred into 10 tens. Ten of them. Black. Oh, I lost one. Hold on. Pile these all up here. Okay. This is why we don't do our math with blocks. This is why we figure out how to do it on paper. Okay. So I just took one of these two hundreds. I broke it up, and now I just have one left. And <clears throat> when I broke it up, I ended up with ten of these bars. The ten. So I put a one here because that's 10 of them plus the two that were already there. I have 12 of them. And now, now I can subtract because I need to take four out. So I'm going to take four. One, two, three, four. And now I've subtracted from the tens column. So 12 minus four leaves me with 
Should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all the subtracting I need to do. I subtracted from the ones, I subtracted from the tens. So I just have to think about what's left here is my 100. So that's how I can get from 237 minus 48 down to 189. I'm gonna just show it one more time. So I start with 237. And then I'm gonna subtract. Uh, woo, mixing up my colors. 48. Eight minus seven. I can't do that. Seven or seven, sorry, I said it wrong. Seven minus eight problems. So I'm gonna borrow from the three tens here. Now I have two tens left, and the 10 that I took becomes ones. I put a little one here, that's how I know it's the 10 of them plus the seven is 17. Just like making the number 17. 17 minus eight leaves me with nine. Four, mm, two minus four. Mm. Okay, I've got to borrow. Here's the 100, I'm gonna break it up. One of those hundreds is gonna become tens. Remember that, too many of these guys to even hold on to. Uh, so now I have 12 tens, 12 minus four, I can do 12 minus four is eight. All right, and then 100 is left. Okay, so that's how uh, borrowing with subtraction works. I hope that's been helpful and I will see you guys on Tuesday night. Bye-bye.